Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here. Hope you're having a great day. First, an announcement. After lots of requests, hundreds, probably thousands of requests, I am coming out with a hybrid picking course, okay? So I'm a hybrid picker. Once you start, you'll never go back. And it's not just for country music, for any genre ever. I'm telling you, once you start feeling triads, with your, with your picking hand and not just have it be a rhythmic thing, but have add an ar a harmonic thing to it in addition to the technique, I'm telling you, you'll never go back. So that'll be for GuitarGate members, first link in the description. On that note, I'm on GuitarGate, bam, on the Reacts Request page, and Martin Bear, a lifetime member, thank you, Martin, says, before the bullets fly, Warren Haynes, he would love a breakdown of this tune. I don't know if I've ever done this tune. <laughs> I love Warren Haynes. So, Martin, this is for you. Thanks for being a student at Guitargate. Thanks, so much. Let's see if we can bump it up a little bit. Here we go. C, neighborhood of C, if that's where it comes in. Okay, so we got a funky blues in C. Warren does it about as good as anybody that can ever do it. Comes in. C7. What am I hearing here? That E is the bellwether, right? Is that... Right? That's not C minor, right? It's not E flat. It's not... It's not... It's... Now you can grab that flat seven with it, that B flat. You can hammer on, variations of which. Point is, this is a funkin' C7, my friends. So, and then five flat seven root is your, is your jam in there. Then it goes to the four, F7, F9, whatever your poison is. Now, five chord, you got a, uh, you got a, G9, you know, maybe you do a little Hendrix thing. I didn't really hear that, right? But then, flat three major, E flat major, got a four major, right? F major, and then back to the funk. Very cool. Dude, there's light and bright keys. Yeah, yeah. Keys. What keeps me satisfied? The keys. Like leaving in the nick of time. Just before yeah. the bullets fly. Never had. Warren comes in over the four chord, mind you, the four chord. Whoever this keys player is, God, I can't believe I don't know his name. Um, dude, <laughs> you're stealing the show here. Coming in. Now, Warren did uh, give us a little hint about where he's going to come in before, right? Very Stevie Ray Vaughan that... That, that... Before. 
So he's coming in. Little Albert King blues box. Five, four, flat three, root, flat seven, fifth. Right? Like that. Rip, 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 rip. That. Albert King all day. Little, little. Tug on the flat seven. Five. Four into the flat five, flat three. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Now, now here's a cool little thing that happens here. We're going into F7. So he's shooting for the A. That is the third of F7. Remember, you're always third hunting here. Okay? So where are we? We are in F major pentatonic. Pattern three, if you dig. The G shape. Check. <laughs> Yeah. Again, this is a blues, okay? So what are we gonna shoot for? One, flat seven, major third. That's it right there. Again, I've had so many lessons on this, but this right here, what is this? That is an A diminished triad, okay? Give or take. Point is, what is it really? It is the three, five, and flat seven, or in this case, um, so I'm, I'm playing the root up here, but this little thing up here, this is the third and flat seven of F7, okay? Of F7. So remember, your top three, three, five, flat seven in a, in a dominant chord, that's the diminished triad, that's how it works, right? So cool, so cool. All right, here we go. That, that, that. Bending up from the flat seven to the root there. And immediately back into C, C pattern one. Ooh, pull a little out of tune there. Maybe it's just. Maybe my intonation's off. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Now, why does this work? Again, pattern one into pattern two. So, this is one, flat three, four. There's your flat seven. Bending your four into the five through the flat five. Three. Right? Because we're over the five chord. We're achieving that five right there, right? So hot. Sit down, lost my it ends with that little that. that. First bit, I tell you, he does it about as good as you can do it. And it's so funky. In New Orleans, in the wrong end of a good. Sticks kept getting higher. Somehow I survived by knowing when the need becomes just before the bullets fly. Love that flat three four. Okay, so that right there. So you got this, you got this flat three. And he holds it, right? So you got this. Now what does he do here? So 
here's here's what I'm focusing on, right? And again, this is what that hybrid course will teach you. I got this E flat major chord. It's my flat three major. Here's my triad, five, one, three, okay? We're talking about intervals here. I'm separating, I'm getting rid of the root. Five into three still creates the chord function because you got that third in there, right? Now all I'm gonna do here is I know I'm going to F. So I'm going to F here like this, right? But I gotta get to there. So I'm gonna slide up one spot above that in key and outline that little B flat major triad, right? Because this would be this would be your root, this would be your major third of B flat, okay? And then settle right back into the F there. Or whatever he does. Doing a little octave thing. Do it again. Work once, do it twice. I love those. Th so Albert King, you can tell when people love. Uh, the players that made this genre just like become the genre. This, this, that's Albert King, baby. Look, root, flat three. Just push it. Yeah, we're past the four, we're into the flat five. The point is not where you land, you never land. The point is that you create a trajectory where you don't get stuck in the hole, right? And you can just let it go, right? You don't have to land it. What do you do here? Uh uh. I'm gonna have to come back to this one. But basically, I'm hearing a rake. I'm thinking C minor. One flat three, five flat seven, and then kind of resolve. That's incorrect, but try not to make this a long video. You get the point. Love how he took a pause there and did then just did the, the the like the like the 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 double string. So again, pushing through the four, grabbing the root. Right, just so much Texas fire. Love hearing him on the strat too. That vibrato, that 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 that. that got such great vibrato. Really? That bass. Great part. I can see why he keeps doing it. Remember last time?
that, that ends right on that four. Throws that nine in there. That. This is one thing I've always wanted to get good at, but then I've gotten distracted and stopped before I could figure it out. I know essentially what it is, but you're pushing up, flat seven, bringing the third string down. Yeah. It's a roll. Um, don't have it yet, but I'm gonna get it. That's really clean. Okay, keyboards, Jeff Young, dude, <laughs> yes. Um, I tried really hard to concentrate on everybody else during this track, but you had my attention full force. Um, and that does not take away from the drums and bass and, and every, like, like at, at all. Um, who sent me this? Martin, Martin, love you. Thanks for being a student on Guitargate. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, my key takeaways. This might be my favorite Warren Haynes performance that I've seen. I'm gonna go back and watch this. You know, so much of me making these unedited raw reaction videos is that I try to keep an internal clock and keep the video going so it's not like a million minutes. But this is one I'm gonna go back and figure out because there's so many little gems in there. Um, again, Funky Blues C7. Again, major third. That is an E, my friends, right? Got a four chord. Also dominant, five chord dominant. But then this part he keeps going back to. Flat three, straight up major chord. Make it big, four chord major, and it rides back through. When he starts adding this little, uh, like I can definitely tell like that's one of those things that we're all jamming on together and like, ooh, let's do that like 11 times because that's killer. It is killer, that's awesome separating the fifth and the third. You're omitting the root, right? Hinting a little B flat major up there. First inversion, again, third, and then and then root, and then fifth and root of your F major chord. And you don't always have to ha play the whole thing, especially if you got keys holding it down too, right? Um, and just anytime you can breathe a little air in there and not play a big clunky triad and just get the, hear how much cleaner that is? Go for clean, baby, go for clean. Um, it, it's awesome. And then Warren just really showing his blues sensibilities, right? His love of Albert King is shining through. Um, his vibrato is just so killer. And then also tremendous chord tone soloing. Tremendous. This, I'm telling you, for all you out there, go back to this part where he goes over to this F, right? You got this F7, right? What does he do? Shoots for that A. Okay, shoots for that A in pattern three, F7, and then shoots again for that uh, for that flat seven in there, right? That E flat, and then does he's got his, all his little moves in there and bends it up to get to back up to C pattern, C minor pattern one. So slick, and then the the Albert King, dude. I love it. I'm such a fan of Warren Haynes' guitar playing, not to mention his singing. Um, I might even title this like Warren Haynes' like best video or on fire. Like this is definitely one of my favorite performances uh, ever from him. I'm such a fan. Warren, I love you. That's it, my friends. I love you all too. Thank you for watching. Please, if you dig the vibe here, hit subscribe. It really helps. And if you want to be like Martin and pick what comes next here on YouTube, uh, that is my thank you for those that take my lessons and courses. Um, I love being an online teacher. I'm excited for this uh, hybrid course to come out. And if you want all of my courses step-by-step step, to show you how to use the theory on the fretboard in a practical way like you see me do here in these videos, how to pick apart stuff like this, um, I'd love to be your online teacher. Click the first link in the description. It's called Guitargate. It's my life's work. I'd love to see you over there. And again, if you uh, learn nothing else from this video, just remember, keep this thing in your hands. If you keep picking it up, you will keep getting better. This is a journey of life, and it's a fun one, so enjoy it. Cheers.